Good morning, everybody. I really want to touch base on certain protocol that actually gives you benefits with the fight of COVID for prevention. I want to make sure you have detail and information data so you can make conscious decision. At Simply for Life, uh, for the past year and a half, I've been really, really looking deep into this. I don't follow gossips. I look at peer review data. And there's certain protocol that's been surfacing around that actually are showing amazing benefits. Now, there's a lot of junk out there, so you gotta be careful of what you're doing. There's many traps in our industry. You know, for years, everybody's always putting down the pharmaceutical industry. But if you look at the industry that we're in, the food and supplements, there's a lot of BS for bullshit. But there's a lot of good too. And the information I'm gonna provide you comes from, you know, guy based of various uh, scientific reference. There's over 70 supplements being studied right now for COVID-19. You can go in and look at clinicaltrial.gov.com. Uh, You'll get all the information you need out there. So like I say, these are information I'm providing you that are peer review and also that I'm seeing significant impact right now. My job also, I'm not gonna to touch anything that's medical because it's to inform you from a holistic point of view and a naturopathic point of view. So there's a protocol that I am a big fan of. I'm using it uh, personally, home, and some of my friends and loved ones. It's from the FLCCC. So what's the FLCCC stands for? It's the Frontline COVID-19 Critical Care Alliance. It's a global alliance. It was founded uh, last year in the US by some of the world-class researchers. And we're not talking enough about this. And now this alliance is in Canada. It's the um, Canadian uh, COVID Care Alliance, CCCA. Google it, all the information and the protocol. So I'm really gonna describe step-by-step uh, -step every different supplements you're suggesting that I'm taking right now. The game has changed. You know, you gotta eat healthy, I do get it, but the game has significantly changed, so we want to make sure that we're offering our body all the fighting chance it can. And for me, I like to sleep good at night. So we're going to talk about vitamin C, but from a COVID protection point of view and why. We're going to talk about zinc. What is the best form of, of zinc to have? We're going to talk about the new superstar, uh, quercetin, right? We're going to talk about melatonin, why melatonin? And then the ones that has proven and has shown the most a benefits is D3 and why you should have it with K2. So again, look this information up. I'm providing you detailed and very specific information that I truly validate and value. And the, uh, uh, the information comes from scientific uh, journal. There's many citation on this. You can Google it on PubMed. This is where you should go get your information. Unfortunately, social media, it's great, it's great for business but doesn't always offer the best advice and there's always a motive. you know, there's, there's a saying I've been saying in, in business uh, and to a lot of my clients, follow the money trail, right? So the first one we're gonna talk about is vitamin C. First, we know that our body cannot make vitamin C. Most people are not aware about this, our body cannot make vitamin C. And I haven't changed my, my, uh, my tune as soon as COVID is out the door, hopefully, <laughs> wishful thinking. But the reality is that with COVID right now, I've always been a, a big, big uh, believer in taking from food first. Because food, when you get vitamin C from your fruits and vegetables, it's much more readily available. Unfortunately, we need more than that. So um, the body is not getting enough from the diet. It's the first time in my life I can say this when it comes to uh, COVID. It has the ability to really, really enhance your immune system, but it has some synergic effect with zinc, quercetin, melatonin, and D3. Um, it basically helps the body fight better because when you're exposed to a viter, your immune system is totally taxed. So you need 10 times more vitamin C. So if you're really under the umbrella or surrounded or you have COVID or you just have a compromised immune system, your body needs about 10 times more vitamin C. I'm not gonna get into intravenous vitamin C. I'm gonna tell you what I use home and what I truly believe would be two forms of vitamin C can have. 
You know, I'm a big fan of the Nature Sun Science Vitamin C. It comes in a thousand milligrams. Uh, we home take 500 milligrams twice per day right now, but we take it in a powder form, adsorbic acid. And it's very easy. We put it in our smoothie in the morning right now, a teaspoon, and we mix it with our psyllium us at night, and we drink it. Does it taste good? Not at all. Uh, but when you mix it in your smoothie of psyllium, it tastes better. So I suggest twice per day. Now, the next star on the list is zinc. Everybody's been talking about zinc, but you gotta be careful of those. There's many different forms of zinc, and unfortunately the industry is not telling you this. My favorite form is zinc picoline. Why? Because it's much more bioavailable, it's easier on your digest system, and your whole digest system actually doesn't work over time on this, and it's much easier. And with issues with digestion, so forth, so on, I tend to cave with something that I'm very familiar with. And on top of that, there's many other benefits you can use zinc, you know, for the metabolism of protein, for the metabolism of fats and carbohydrates, for individuals who have uh, issues with testosterone and so forth, so on. But we're talking about COVID right now. So I'm a big fan right now of using this five times per week. I don't do seven days a week like it's suggested because A, it can deplete my copper. And unless I eat a lot of nuts and seed, which is a really good source of copper, I don't like to take copper supplements. Uh, I have no issue taking this, but as a protection, uh, why I'm talking about zinc is that it's an ally also with quercetin, which I will describe what quercetin does better with zinc. Um, the antioxidant capability of zinc, it's pretty amazing. It reduces inflammation. Um, I don't like to go over 50 milligrams per day for this. Again, first thing in the morning with a meal, we take it. Um, there's 40 citations and also 40 studies on zinc and COVID as we speak like uh, right now. Again, track the FLCC, PubMed, all those studies are out there. I'm not a fan of the lozenges because of after seven or eight days, we've seen some issues with your digestive tract, storage, so forth, so on. So I'm just a fan of using zinc If you're using the lozenges, it's great for a couple of days. Make sure it's never more than seven days. But you're gonna get to understand more the benefit of zinc. Not only is it potent anti-inflammatory, has other benefits, but quercetin, first of all, became a superstar during the early 2000s um, with SARS. We've all heard about SARS. It has remarkable benefit for antiviral, so forth, so on. But beyond being an amazing antiviral quercetin, I'm a big fan of the Now brand right now. That's all these ones we carry in our store here in St. John. What it means is that quercetin is a 904 to zinc. What that means, it improves zinc to be an uptake into the cell, okay? When zinc is updated into your cell, it basically stops the enzyme, the enzyme that replicates the virus. So when you have quercetin, it expedite, facilitate the uptake of zinc into the cell, therefore shutting down the enzyme that replicates the virus, because the virus wants to replicate itself. There's other synergies that it does. It has hosts of benefit for cardiovascular disease, rep, uh, respiratory benefits, anti-inflammatory. Um, you know, it's used in athletic performance. There's many benefits, but right now, today, we're talking about why this protocol combined together, it's been validated and researched. There's tons of research and citations, whether it's PubMed, the New English Journal of Medicines, uh, nutrition data, you look at it up, they're significant, significant. And also, it works best with vitamin C and zinc. If you want to really showcase the true benefits of quercetin, it's best to be used with uh, vitamin C. Now, the dosage I suggest is 500 to 1,000 milligram per day. But again, the pro uh, protocol is right there of the FCC, uh, LCCC and uh, uh, Canadian Co-Care, uh, Critical Care Alliance also. You'll see those protocol, they're described 
And it's not just uh, individuals. You'll look at the people who are putting these protocols in place. <laughs> they get quite the background. And the last one, the two last one is melatonin. You know what? In PubMed, again, there's over 50 citation on why melatonin is beneficial for COVID. First of all, most people don't notice that sleep and rest is the number one thing you want to focus when it comes to improving your immune system. I've always say that you have exercise and nutrition, but the benchmark or the platform of these two is the sleep. Without the sleep, none of these will be in sync and working. Now we're talking again about COVID and uh, it's a potent antioxidant, melatonin. It's amazing for your gut health also, but what really, really, really is beneficial is this, is that when you have a flu or a virus, the virus impairs your ability to produce melatonin uh, significantly. And melatonin also recharge your glucathione, which is the most powerful antioxidants you want in the body and also uh, really restores uh, mitochondria. These are the power cells that we need for energy. There's multiple research on this. So really, the recommend dosage is beyond what we always suggest, 1.5 to three milligrams. It's six milligrams to really make sure that you get the optimal dosage. Of course, I've always said to use it about an hour before going to bed. There's many other ways to use it. I don't think it's something you should use during the day, but melatonin should be used at six milligrams, and especially we're talking about COVID prevention or if you have COVID, so forth, so on. And the last superstar on the list is of course, it has proven the test of time, Thanks God for the research. Many authorities are advocating it. Finally, most Canadians should be taking vitamin D3 unless you're exposed to the sun all year round, but we're not. I recommend to all my clients uh, vitamin D3 with K2 because these, t these two needs to go together. But we're talking about COVID today. Uh, the protocol is anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 IUs. I like to recommend no less than 4,000 IUs, especially if you're overwhelmed because the absorption is not the same. So to take about four to 8,000 IU. Now, the 2,000 IUs that some expert, including myself, recommends, again, we're talking COVID today. So I hope that it gives you a better understanding about this protocol, from why to use vitamin C, whether you want to take it orally or in powder in your smoothie like we use home, Zinc, why do you use zinc picolinate? Remember your digestive tract is really in sync with how to have a good immune system, how you feel, your energy, your metabolism. Quercetin, the new kid on the block that everybody's uh, talked about this, you can't keep this on the shelf right now. We have it on a regular basis and we might have it today, tomorrow we might have it. Uh, even a distributor have a hard time uh, keeping this product in stores or in supply for us. Melatonin, why not the conventional 1.5 to 3 milligrams and the 6 milligrams and the D3 and K2. So I'm hoping this is uh, helping you. If you need more information, please navigate the FLCCC and then the CCCA uh, um, right here in Canada. These are global researchers by the thousand. They're right at the front line also, and I'm looking for your best interests. Now, some protocols, there's another uh, prescription they will recommend with this, but again, my job is give you information that you can be clear and you can trust on the supplements. Anything that has to do with um, the medical field has nothing to do uh, with my, uh, my position. So thanks for following everybody. Do we have all these products in stores? Yes, we will have it all day long. I don't know because more and more people are getting informed and they wanna offer them their best chance of uh, preventing any further damage from the COVID. And information is key. So thanks for following, have a wonderful day and please uh, spread the word. Thank you.